Hey guys, I'm not showing myself because I look like a freaking hot mess, but um, okay, so Loki licked something off the floor at my place, so I'm at the emergency vet right now. Um, yeah, so Loki licked something off the floor. I don't know if it was my bug spray because I had a can of a raid and I, there was like a bug on my floor and then like I, so I sprayed my entire room, but that was like, I don't know how many days ago, like maybe uh, five or six days ago that I did that. And then I left to thrift and I closed my door obviously to make it, you know, dry. Right. So, and then I came back and like everything was dry. So um, but that's the only thing that I could think of because I had a can of Raid insecticide bug spray and um, he went like under the table like in my room and then licked something and then he oh, there's people coming out and then like he oh my god they're crying I feel so bad for them Oh my God, guys, these people just left the veterinary office. I mean, the vet clinic and they're crying. I'm pretty sure their dog probably passed away or their cat. That is so freaking sad. Oh my God. I remember that happening to me before a few times where I was like, my, my dog died and I came out of the clinic and there was people that were in the car and they were just watching me like crying. I feel so bad for them. My heart goes out to them. It really does. It's, there's a kid, a mom and a dad. Oh my God. Uh, this is why I don't like having pets, guys, is because they die and you get sad. My heart goes out to these people so much. I've had three dogs die on me that I remember vividly. And it is not, it is not easy. That's them leaving right there. Hey everyone, it's Miss Philly. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a quite an eventful, eventful weekend. Yesterday I was, uh, I, I, the previous clip to this, I was at the vet last night at 10 p.m. because Loki had licked something off the floor and I think he got a little bit of poisoning or something. <sighs> it, was, it was a little bit of an ordeal. Um, he seems to be fine now. He's acting normal, so that's good. But he's still doing like little coughs like <coughs> like that so i need to monitor him hopefully he's okay the vet bill cost me 119 dollars. totally worth it i thought it was 120 dollars plus tax but it was like i don't know i think it was more like a hundred and they gave him an injection because they gave him an injection for uh nausea and vomiting so that he doesn't because he already had vomited like six times but um, it was a little bit, it was crazy. I was a little bit anxious and um, anxiety ridden. But he seems to be okay this morning. I didn't give him any uh, food, but I gave him a bowl of water. Hopefully he drinks some, but yeah. So I'll have to go back early uh, to my apartment to make sure that he's fine. But uh, yeah, I left Daniel at Valley Village. We arrived there and there was nobody there. It was so weird. We were the only ones in the entire, um, store. Wouldn't it be like so weird if every single comp started at the same place? Because we started at a different one. But a lot of people who start here also start at Unicity, also start at uh, GC. So I wonder if they all just spread out and didn't do Alice today. But whatever. Daniel's camping there right now. <clears throat> We're at Salvation Army. Uh, I'm gonna check. I don't think they're open yet. I think they're open at 10. So we still have a few minutes. I'll run into Dollarama because I need some, I need some bully sticks for uh, Loki. And then I'll need some carbonated water for me. <laughs> so, hey, uh, I did some good sales over the weekend. I sold like a few good bags. Like I think all the bags that I thrifted last week sold over the weekend. The pink coach uh, paid eight sold for 45. The Kate Spade Quilted paid 13, sold for 40, I think, or 45 around there. And then another bag sell, sold that we thrifted. I forgot which one. Oh, the Coach, the Coach Poppy Black one. We paid like 15 for it. I think it sold for 28. It was really well worn. And then the Rotary Phone sold for $60. We paid like eight. And then 
the Nintendo uh, 3DS that we had lotted with a game. I guess we paid like 38 and it sold for 175. So the weekend brought us a little bit of money and good because we have a Loki vet bill to pay off. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of bills this month. Not only that, but I have to actually get my tire. I need to buy one new tire. That'll cost like $250, 300. And then I have to take out, swap out my tires, take off my winter tires, put on my summer tires. That's gonna cost like, um, and then storage fees for that, probably like 120. So I'm gonna have to pay like almost $500 for that. Ugh, I need to do more sales, guys. More sales. Anywho, we've been to one, two, two thrift stores. I found nothing. Daniel found nothing. So it's a whole bunch of nothing right now. Have some donations in the back and hopefully our day uh, is prosperous. Ho hopefully we find some things to resell and make some money on. So, so Daniel's recommending that I get these little things for $8 a piece. Hopefully they're not infested with bed bugs. <laughs> He's off to get a car. Are you sure you don't want them? I, no, I love the color of them though. They're really nice. Like they're cool because this isn't like typical like I mean, you could crochet something like this. But just... I bet Evelyn can make those. <laughs> oh, I bet you. But you would need something to form it around, right? So big I mean, ball. Like, I mean, at this price, you could probably get like Trill. I don't know. What do you think? I'd say at least like I probably saw them separately. Yeah, I like they were in twos. I don't think it's Ultra in twos. twos. It's up to you if you want. I think they're cool. Like, yeah, look, I mean for that price, I'll a... I'll risk it. Like they were on like rug stores and stuff. This is what, US 142 for, I don't know, maybe a set of two. True. Oh, well, thank but you, Daniel. This, but this is a little like pumpkin. That's not the same, but yeah. True. Yeah. And Thanks. they, you know, they just came out because we were here. <laughs> so we ended up getting those poof balls. They're all over the place. Like the cheapest ones online were $60, but they were the one on Wayfair plus shipping plus tax. But these ones look older, so I'm thinking these are more like a hundred for a pair. What do you guys think? hundred for a pair. Would you guys pay a hundred for a pair? I'd pay a hundred for a pair. I want a pair. I'll give you a pair. Daniel found a deal at Subway. Where's Subway? Over there. Over there. <laughs> but hey, show them the price. Thirteen dollars. Bucks. For two 12 inch subs, That's Canadian. So in US, that'd be like nine bucks. Yeah nine ten dollars perfect this is on till what april 21st so we're yeah. gonna be abusing this for a while <laughs> and it's healthier it is healthier he's a cute little crossbody from roots with the tassel drawstring made in canada but it's 25 bucks it's probably what retail is oh, not retail resell This is cute. Suede, five bucks. What brand is it? El Brando. No brand. Wait, is there? It's cute. It's like suede. Brandless. Should I get it for five bucks? Two dollars off? I feel like people won't appreciate it. Here's a cute fossil, but there's just so much darkening on it. Nine bucks. See, this is a nice style. I like this. 17 bucks isn't a bad price, but then when you look inside, there's this like that. I hate that staining like that. It's problematic. It's eclipse day today, guys. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. I think there's like a half an hour till it happens still. Um, yeah, so today we thrifted a few things. You can see those big balls in the back. Daniel convinced me to get them. I feel like they're pretty good. They remind me of like Moroccan crochet knitted. Oh, the eclipse is happening. I looked pretty, I looked. There's a little bit of eclipse. Can you see it, guys? I don't know if it's showing, hold on. There's a little bit of the eclipse there. Eclipse is happening. I'm not looking because I don't want my eyesight to cornea to burn. But can you see it? Eclipse! Okay, so we saw the eclipse. Whoop-de-doo. Um, <laughs> we got the balls. 
Yeah, we do. <laughs> you know, you know. Balls, we got a little like a caddy that you kind of roll with you because I need one. My other one is kind of a hot mess, so I need another one for groceries. And then we got, um, oh, this camera, which I, I paid for, but I needed to exchange something. So I ended up getting it. Daniel says it's pink. I see silver. What color do you guys see? This is an expensive camera for what it is. It was $40 and I didn't want to pay that. I probably would have wanted to pay less than 20 because I still have to invest in a charger, which would be another $20. So I'm in it for 60 to sell it for 100 to make 40 bucks on it but it's cute it's compact it's pink i'm hoping i can get the money for it then we got this juicy couture bag i thought it was cute it's like the daydreamer style it's nylon pink faux leather juicy there tassel there and in overall great condition we only paid i think like 15 dollars for it hopefully i can get like 40 so and then this was kind of cool a patent leather DKNY tote. I love DKNY bags. You guys know DKNY is so underrated. They have such amazing quality bags. And this is also one of them. So patent leather DKNY bag. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, Daniel's messaging me, so I want to see what he has to say. Daniel messaged me of non-importance. <laughs> um, but yeah, Daniel found it amazing. He says it's a grail. I'm sure it is. Like one of those sports Michigan hoodies that have like Michigan spelt out on the arm and across the chest. A lot of the hype guys in the city like have thrifted it before. Not in this colorway, I don't think. But I'm happy for him. I probably, like if I ever picked it up, I would pick it up for the price, but... It's nothing that would get me so super excited, but Daniel was squealing like a little girl, but that's fine. <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm happy with what I got today. Nothing too amazing, but also it's a Monday. Tomorrow I have a, an appointment with my doctor. I don't know if I'm thrifting in the morning, so I kind of don't feel like it, but at the same time, I feel like I'm missing out if I don't thrift. Do you ever, guys, do you ever get that way, guys, where it's like you want to go, but you don't want to go, but if you don't go, you feel like you're missing out? I forgot to mention that one of my favorite shows of all time is also Wentworth. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Wentworth. It's a remake of an 80s show. Uh, it, it's set, it takes place in prison. And don't get it confused with Orange is the New Black. Orange is the New Black is more dramedy, comedy, drama. But Wentworth is complete drama. So I love Wentworth. I've watched, I've watched season one to season eight, maybe like, I know two times for sure, but I want to say three. I found out about Wentworth maybe three years ago. I remember I just moved into my apartment and watched it. Oh, I'd say two. I, I've watched it twice. So I remember the last season aired, I think, in 2021. And that's probably the last time I kind of binge watched the show. But I just recently binge watched the show. I've been watching it the last month or so. I'm already on the last season. But for some reason, I don't remember the last season. But I remember watching the entire season. So it's good because it's like I'm watching it for the first time. But it's an Australian show. I love my Australians. I always fantasize about marrying a hot, blonde Australian guy with a golden glistening skin and a bland gold hair. <laughs> I love Australian accents. They're probably my number one accents that I love. Australian would be number one, yeah. Anyway, here's Daniel. I'll show you what he got. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, Daniel. Oh my God, why are my receipts falling? Look at that hat I found. Oh, that's cool. Is that nice? Yeah. It's new, but it's nice. That is Look at nice. that, it's like somebody never wore it and just don't it. Made in Bangladesh. <laughs> it's just one of those uh, wannabe vintage hats, it's not. You wanna show your grail? My Michigan sweater. Anyone from Michigan in the Anyone house? Anyone from Michigan? Check it out. Whoa, you can't even fit it in the frame, that's how big it is. Look at M-I-C-H. The whole spell out, you guys. Michigan. Uh, well, I guess what does this be for Wolverines? I don't know. But it's for their like, college university thing out there. Super cool. Yellow hoodie. I have this in blue at home. Oh, you have it already? I have this in blue. Yeah, I just, I've never owned a yellow one. So that's pretty crazy. I know there's another color out there. I'm trying to figure out what Ian got. like a red. Was there a red? But blue and yellow were always Michigan. White for colors. sure. That would be cool, a white one. I, I haven't seen that. I've seen white before. I gotta ask Ian what color he found. Because I don't think it was yellow and it wasn't blue. 
It was green. He found a green one, a forest green one. I, I should post it on my Instagram. If anybody wants, it's at Regent. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, let's go to our last stop. You're teasing everyone? Look at that thing's blocking my face, Ashley. Not fair. This game is a pretty good thrift day, though. It started off pretty slow. You know, I'm just gonna leave this here for now. Did you show them our solar eclipse? I don't even wanna look. I did show the solar eclipse. It's like, oh, what, a quarter of our sun is covered, right? I think we're like the, I think Manitoba is like the, the one that's closest to full coverage aside from anybody like in Montreal and. No, I think they get more. Yeah, they get more. I meant, uh, we're like our a, west coast doesn't get much. No, no. But because we're in the middle, we get half. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Look cooler in the States though. And you guys from Texas or one of the other states that have fully covered. That's pretty neat. I'm summoning love from the eclipse. Summoning love and money. Do you, do you think the eclipse, is, the eclipse has a meaning? Do you think it yeah. does anything? Like a lot of people have crazy theories about it. Do you, what's your theory? Is it a love? No, and I just think, I feel like it's just a nice phenomenon that energy wise, it's very potent. Okay. So I think energy is all like. Energy does a lot of good, good things and it can also do bad things, I guess. Right? Yeah. Depends if you're a negative person. I'm know. scared, I don't want to look at it. Just kidding. <laughs> Imagine someone forcing you to look. Look at the solar eclipse. Oh, see, solar eclipse of the heart. Here, let's get one video. Let's 